Hi, this is JB from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG campaign playthrough. And we are continuing the Mutant Genesis uh, campaign playthrough with Gambit in protection aspects. Uh, I am up to the third scenario, Master Mold, and we have set up the scenario. But first, let's quickly look what kind of deck I'm using. So, uh, as before, I am using the Uno Reverse by Classy Robot. So this is the protection deck I have been playing uh, so far in this campaign. I feel that this deck can perform, so I haven't made any changes to the deck. So if you're interested in using this deck, go to the video description and follow the link to the Marvel CDB page uh, where you can see the deck list and uh, make it for yourself if you want to try it out. So, not going to talk about the deck that much, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and we are set up here, so uh, as per setup, we have put Magneto in play. For the first player, we have Master Mold with Stalwart and Tough, with 12 hit points, and uh, we also have the Find the Prisoner of Sight scheme for the campaign playthrough, and we had to choose one ally from our deck to put underneath here and I have chosen Polaris and uh, uh, if we get rid of this then we get to save Polaris later on and get her into play uh, we can already flip this so uh, we also have one card from the future's past modular set uh, mixed in to the deck and the last thing we need to do is to pick one of the defender skills at random which we are using in this scenario so we get uh, determined defense hero interrupts defense toward when you defend against an attack spend two resources of any type that attack removes threat from the main scheme instead of dealing damage uh, remove this card from the game and the campaign pool so as with the earlier versions of these defense skills, we want to use this because this will be removed. And we get to pick this because we cleared uh, the enemy of my enemy side scheme in the last scenario. Unfortunately, we don't have Jubilee in play because we didn't have Jubilee in play at the end of the last scenario. Also, we don't have any of the captives uh, in our deck because we <laughs> were too hasty to defeat the uh, sentinel uh, in the last scenario so we didn't get to add any of those into our deck so that is basically it i'll just keep this here so without further delay let's get started okay so one thing i forgot to do is that when revealed uh, each player discards cards from the encounter deck until they discard a sentinel mini and then puts it in play engage with them. So uh, we get sentinel mark for uh, six and these are discarded. So they are in the discard pile. And this enemy doesn't get the quick strike because that was done before the game started, I think. I'll At, at least I'm playing it like that. So... Uh, each sentinel minion gains guard, so we need to defeat this uh, stupid sentinel mark 6 before we can proceed to defeating master mold. So let's draw our opening hand. So I'm again uh, reading this because I was not entirely sure how this works. So hero interrupt defense towards when you defend against an attack spend two resources of any type. That attack removes threat from the main scheme instead of dealing damage. Okay, well... Not entirely sure how that works. So if I defend against an attack... Okay, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I will play it so that uh, if I defend, even though I am not, um, I am negating the damage dealt, uh, instead of doing that, I'm just removing threat, the amount of how much 
uh, something is hitting. So, for example, if uh, I defend against Master Mold, I ready somehow I defend against the Sentinel. I discard this, so the Sentinel removes threat. So I'm playing it like that. It's a bit uh, not clear how that works. So one, two, three, four, five, six starting cards. Uh, hard knocks, uh, charge the card, Creole Charmer, Molecular Acceleration, the Axe Jet, and Nightcrawler. I'm not needing the hard knocks just yet, or do I? I, I could actually defeat. I'll, uh, yeah. I'm getting rid of the charge the card, but I'm keeping the X jet. No, let's get rid of that. So we draw two more cards, Rogue, too early and hard to ignore. Well, not the best, but it is what it is, so we'll see how this goes. So uh, I am not doing uh, Remy's ability yet, because I want to defeat this guy. So Magneto will hit for 3, and then I need 3 damage to defeat. I could flip. I'll add one resource with charts the card. I will play molecular uh, that X jet with molecular acceleration and night crawler. So we add one more here. Then I think I will I could actually play Rogue with two or the Creole Charmer and say, yeah, I'm using this and hard to ignore to play Creole Charmer to remove three threat from here and uh, uh, remove three threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, confuse the villain, so we confuse the villain. Oh damn, that's an alter ego action, so I will. Ah, that's the... Yeah, I have... I think I've been playing this wrong, so... Let's back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm using these two cards to play Rogue. And that is that, so... Let's see. Uh, we'll get Rogue into play. So, I use these two to play the X Jet, then I'll use that and uh, probably Charmer to, hard to play hard to ignore. No, I'll keep the hard to ignore in. Uh, no, I'll keep the Crowley Charmer in hand. No, I'll, I'll keep the hard to ignore in hand for now. And I am in <laughs> hero mode. So. We will just go on ahead and defeat the Sentinel, so we'll hit, hit, and hit. So this is defeated. And uh, after Magneto attacks and defend, defeats the Sentinel, we will one damage from Magneto. So I think we get to remove this. And that is our turn. We ready up. We'll draw back up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4... Electro, Stick Armor, Gambit Staff, Professor X, and Hard to Ignore. So we are playing upgrades a lot next round. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Master Mold attacks. Gambit will defend. And uh, we get plus one, so we don't take any damage. Then we get an encounter card, it is advanced, so Master Mold schemes for 1, plus 1 is 2, that's still okay. And that is it, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we are playing Gambit Staff. I'll use um, Professor X for that. And I'll use one of the hard to ignore to play electrostatic armor. So we can start chipping away on master mold here. 
So, uh, these two will thwart this away. Mm, well, let's wait with that. So, we'll thwart this to zero and ready. So, both take one damage or consequential damage. And we ready up. Uh, I'll charge the card before we uh, end the round. So we have hard to ignore one, two, three, four cards. Judoka skills, powerful punch, strength, and not today. Okay. Uh, we go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Master mold attacks. I will defend. I will use this to do one damage to remove the tough. Then I will play Powerful Punch with the Strength and then I will play Not Today with the uh, Hard to Ignore. So we get plus 2 defense if no, you take no damage from that attack, remove 2 threat from a scheme. So, uh, Master Mole hits for 2 plus 1, we don't take any damage. Then we'll deal 1 damage with the Electro Armor. And we get to remove 2 threat from a scheme. It's any scheme, I think. Yes. So, we remove 2 from here. And uh, we also dealt 4 damage with the Powerful Punch. Then we get an encounter card. It is energy barrier attached to a sentinel minion without energy barrier. Well, otherwise this card gets searched. It searches. We get sentinel mark uh, eight. So uh, force response. After this minion engages, you attach the topmost sentinel attachment from the discard pile to this minion. So it gets the energy barrier. Okay, so it has plus two attack and a tough. So that's not nice. And it has guards, so we need to defeat that. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, on last round, I forgot I have the X-Jet in play. So rather than using the uh, hard to ignore, I'll, I use that. So now I'll use Judoka skills to play hard to ignore. And just the card. We could have also pumped the damage from the attack, but we didn't, so it is what it is. Okay, well, um, let's see how can we do something with that Sentinel. It is a really beefy one. So, I think I will just use Determined Defense to defend against that one and start chipping away. So Rogue and Magneto will hit, so this removes the tough and we deal 3 damage with Magneto. And then uh, that is everything we ready up. We draw, uh, I'll charge the card again. So we read uh, one, two. I I think I already charged it, charged it this round. So five cards we get. Uh, not today. Energy, hard knocks, unflappable, and hard to ignore. So more upgrades to play. Uh, first off, we will. Uh, add one here. We defend against Master Mold. So Master Mold hits for two plus uh, boost is targeted by elimination is attached to an identity deal this card to that player as a face down and counter card. Well, it isn't. So uh, we don't take any damage, but we deal one, uh, two damage with those. Then this guy attacks. Rogue will defend. And uh, 
actually I played uh, not today to for that defense also so we get to remove this so this is defeated so when defeated shuffle the top card of the future past deck into the encounter deck flip this card and reveal rescue captives and keep the face down cards attached so environment mission response after you defeat a sentinel minion spend one resource of any type choose a face down ally under this card and put it into play under your control any player may trigger this ability so Polaris is now here and uh, well, I haven't shuffled this so I'll shuffle and we shuffle th this into the deck and we don't know which one it is so Then uh, this guy attacks here, so I am burning this. So it doesn't deal any damage, and we just remove the threat from here. And that is it, so we get an encounter card. Targeted for elimination, attached to your identity. If a copy of targeted to for elimination is not attached to you, otherwise this card gets served. While you are engaged with a sentinel menu, you cannot change from hero form. To alter ego form action, exhaust your identity discard this card. Okay, now we have this in play. But that is that, so let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, this round... I think I'll charge the card. I will play hard knock, so deal 4 damage to an enemy if that enemy is defeated by this attack. Give your hero a tough status card. So now, do I want to value the tough? Uh, I think, I, yeah, I can't. I can defeat it with uh, using three, but I could just defeat it with Magneto. Our choice here. So anyway, I'm using on uh, hard to ignore and energy to play this. We'll keep the unflappable in hand. So uh, we deal four. We might as well just deal one extra to defeat this guy. Oh yeah. Oh, this gains a tough status card. So Magneto has to hit the top of first. Oh yeah. So I forgot to add the tough. But we'll defeat this with uh, the uh, hard knocks. Then uh, I can use spend one resource of any type. So I'm using this to spend it. So we'll put this into play. And after Polaris enters play, give an X-Men character a tough status card. So I am actually giving that to Rogue. And we are ready up. Oh yeah, this can attack, so I'll attack for 2 damage. Yeah. And we probably forgot. No, we didn't. Yeah, so now we're ready. We are not chasing... Uh, Forms, so we ignore this and uh, we add one, two, three, four, five cards to our hand. We get powerful punch, molecular acceleration, royal flush, times two, and genius. Okay, well, next round we'll probably play double royal flush, but we'll see. So we add one threat to the main scheme, Master Mole attacks, uh, Gambit will defend for uh, for this attack, and we will use Gambit's staff to deal one damage. Then we will 
I see the card and attach to a sentinel minion. Well, no sentinel minions in play. We won't take any damage, but we'll deal another damage with this. And uh, we get an encounter card. It is Operation Zero Tolerance. So now uh, we can actually defeat this uh, card. So after an enemy attack, uh, Attacks and defeats an ally place that ally pays down underneath this scheme. Okay, well That is that so that is that round. Let's go to the next round Okay, well no sentinels so we can get to attack master mold. I am starting with Polaris No, I will Okay, those, this is only for minions, so we'll hit with uh, Polaris to defeat Master Mold. Phase 1, we'll get Phase 2. It gets tough. And 14 hit points. Then, uh, when Master Mold schemes against... Okay, so... Uh, Master Mold hasn't schemed at all, so forced interrupt. When Master Mold schemes against you, discard cards from the encounter deck until a sentinel minion is discarded. Put that minion to play and gates with you. Okay, I think I messed up in the first round of the game and forgot to do that, but it is what it is. I'm, I can't uh, revert to that anymore. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, so 14 hit points to go. We'll see if we can defeat it this round. So we'll hit with Rogue to remove the tough, and we lose the tough. Magneto will hit for three damage. We will play Royal Flush. Use two from here. So we deal six damage. Then we'll use these and spend two. Play Royal Flush and deal 6 damage. And that is the game. So, yeah, that, that was a really bursty uh, end for the scenario. Uh, well, I, I messed up by not having that one Sentinel minion in play, but it is what it is. Uh, these things fun to happen when I am filming because there are so many uh, texts on cars to keep uh, a hold of. But... Well, I, I'll count this as a win, so uh, let's see, uh, it, it would have been only a longer game uh, by a couple of turns maybe if if we uh, had that one, one sentinel in play at the start. So, let's see, victory. Uh, if the find the prisoner side scheme was defeated, we recorded the Campaign lock. Remove each future's past card in the victory display from the campaign. If there are none, add each future's past card found in the encounter deck, discard pile, and in play the campaign log. So now I am checking which we got. Uh, this we already had. So we have a Nimrod. So that we need to add. To the campaign log. Uh, remove each role upgrade that began the game in play from the campaign. If Jubilee is in play, record that campaign log. Otherwise, remove her from the campaign log. So, Jubilee was not in play. Uh, record the name of each ally that ended the game under Find the Prisoners. So, the, that is none, so we don't record anything. So, that was Master Mold. Another quite quick one. Uh, we were lucky enough to get the two Royal Flushes in hand to deal 12 damage in one turn. But yeah, um, next time we are playing possibly this same deck against the Mansion attack. So look forward to that one. So hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.